The United States government is in possession of time travel technology, potentially has a program about it. What? That's right. Let's dive in, y'all. If you're new to the channel, you like content like this, hit that subscribe button, y'all. We put our new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. And of course, hit that like button, y'all. That really helps out the video. So thank y'all so much for the support there. Of course, comment down below what you think of this crazy um, uh, claim, uh, allegation. I, I don't know what to say. Um, uh, we're we're kind of going to go on a little bit of a rabbit hole, but not really. Um, just so, so stick around with me. Um, what am I talking about here, Patrick? Well, Jesse Michaels just put out a new video. If you don't know who Jesse Michaels is, he um, runs a YouTube channel called American Alchemy, although it might have been renamed to just Jesse Michaels. And he famously, at least in the UFO community, just he did a big uh, interview with David Grush that he released, I believe, over Labor Day. So it was after the hearing. Everyone was waiting for like this new you know, interview with them after the News Nation. And it was great. People loved it. And he's kind of blown up in the community. Well, he's got a new video out talking about anti-gravity. It's something he's brought up a lot in different videos, um, with the, especially with a guy named Townsend Brown. All right. Now, where, how does this all fit together? Well, as I'm watching the whole thing, and first of all, it's a phenomenal video. Okay, I'm going to put a link in the description. Go check it out. It's, like a, it's basically like a Netflix doc documentary, y'all. That's the kind of videos he makes. They're absolutely amazing. I recommend them. Um, and this one was phew, equally set the bar high. There's a lot of concepts to take in, and there's a lot of different um, points laid out through it, right? But one in particular at the very end is what really caught my eye. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that clip right now. And then I'll explain as we go. Oh, not that clip, but that's coming, y'all. Yep, another Patrick and Patrick moment. All right, here we go. My last guest, Diana Pasolka, an incredible religious studies professor at UNC Wilmington, writes in her first book, American Cosmic, about a member of a secret space program she codenames Tyler. It's Tyler, who's still a pseudonym, um, for a person who is a mission controller and works in the Space Force. I've personally protected Tyler's identity in every interview I've done until now because this show isn't about doxing people, it's about substantive ideas. But at this point, his name is literally all over the internet, even in interviews with close to a million views. So I'll just mention it because it leads to maybe the trippiest connection I've made in this whole Townsend Brown saga. Tyler, from Diana's book, is a NASA mission controller named Timothy Taylor. Taylor wrote an autobiography in March of 2003 called Launch Fever. Before anybody knew who Taylor was, in 2014, Townsend Brown's daughter, Linda, wrote a review of Taylor's book. She writes, an engineer's firsthand experience of what it means to be a part of the space program, a charming legacy to his daughter and all of us. So what is Tim Taylor's connection with Townsend Brown? Well, the son of frequent UFO experiencer and personal friend of Tim Taylor's, Chris Bledsoe, had some interesting things to say about the topic on Twitter. He wrote that Tim Taylor personally told my father he was in an elite group called the Nassau Group, headed up by T. Townsend Brown, also insinuated they had time travel technology. So what is Tim Taylor's connection with Townsend Brown? Was Brown the chief architect of a secret parallel space program? Townsend Brown had a, a UFO experience in Catalina as a teenager, is that right? Yes, yes, and I know the exact spot he was, where he was standing. I used to ride my horse up that ridge. It approached him. It actually approached him. And, and he said that he learned so much standing there with that ball of light that he went back to his which at what the time was he had a lab in Pasadena that was funded by his parents. So he had his own private lab and he said he went to work immediately and he worked that was that was the beginning of his life's work. And he said that everything that he ever learned about his work, he learned instantly. Wow. Physics has sadly not produced any forward progress over the last 50 years. Even the top string theorists are finally waking up to the futility of their abstract math. This leads us to our next point. Unorthodox thinking does not scale with IQ. Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, a bunch of really smart physicists have been led like sheep to slaughter into the wrong frameworks. And as a result, they've contributed nothing to society. Academic. Wow. <laughs> uh, Jesse went off there, right? They've given, they've nothing to society. Anyway, um, again, quite a great video, right? There's so many points like this. Dude, dude look at this hour and 50 minutes, y'all. I swear it's a Netflix documentary. I, 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 I. The ones that come on Amazon and like, you know, Tubi and these not not necessarily Tubi. What's the other one? Um, I don't know. There's one where they just put these like horrifically produced documentaries up, you know, about UFOs. Here you got Jesse Michaels just putting out like pff, amazing content. Um, it, there's so much in this video, y'all, to, to watch that, that I'm not even covering this. But again, this is what I found fascinating. OK, so Tim Taylor, who we've covered on the podcast, right, supposedly is in this secret elite parallel space program that he had been with Townsend. Right. And they potentially had time travel technology. What are we talking about? Right. And then he has this. Um, Townsend, right? Brown has this moment with a ball of light, a UFO, and he just gets all this knowledge instantly, right? And let's be real. These are definitely some similar stories from Chris Bledsoe, Chris Bledsoe Jr., right? The Bledsoe family. And if you don't know who any of these people are, please Google them. You know, there's books out there about them. We've covered them on the podcast. I put a couple links in the description um, for a little bit more about Diana Pasolka and Tim Taylor. Um, specifically and yeah um, so let, let's move on to something else that Chris Bledsoe has said now Chris Bledsoe Jr. so this is Chris Bledsoe Jr. right here right okay and Tim Taylor let me see if I got this picture so here's Chris Bledsoe Jr. this is Tim Taylor and this is Chris Bledsoe to show they have they do hang out together right he put them in his book and basically, Chris outed him because he, he was known as Tyler in both Diana Pasolka's book and Chris Bledsoe's book. Um, and this is his son, right? This is right here. This right here is Chris Bledsoe Jr., Tim Taylor, right? Chris Bledsoe. Okay. So just to just to show, right, they, they do hang out. They are together, right? And th this is, again, the picture from... The thumbnail that I used, but I've used this picture before, right? This is showing Diana Pasolka, Tim Taylor, again, at the Vatican, okay? Because they talked about having a meeting. There's some proof of it. Uh, well, at least that they hung out with this guy. Um, so anyway, there are so many claims from Tim Taylor that have been made. That The things that have happened, the stuff that Diana... Um, has said about him, right? We're going to watch a video about how she claimed to go to a secret UFO crash site that Tim Taylor, the same guy that they're talking about here, took her to there and Gary Nolan, right? They got materials. It was a UFO crash site that he's been maintaining for decades, right? He also was part of Space Force, Tim Taylor. Um, and he went up into, you know, zero gravity and would work on things supposedly metamaterials and bring back biologics okay um he also supposedly or at one time was confirmed to be elon musk spacex handler right for the government right like back and forth he was the guy to, to handle elon musk there's just a lot of weird stuff with this tim taylor guy but listen to what this kid says basically about tim taylor too here Dad has a dream that night that he is on Mars and he sees big. He says, Dad, right? He's talking about his dad had a dream, right? He says, Chris Bledsoe had a dream about Bigfoot type beings on Mars and there was a cataclysm of some sort. The Guardians helped to move their souls. After Chris tells Tim Taylor his dream, Tim responds that Chris is the most informed person he's ever met. Like, what? But, and Bigfoot, or whatever this being is, uh, killed itself on accident, the, the whole species, in a calamity. 
just like a nuclear cataclysm, something of that nature, they were wiped out. And in his dream... Nuclear cataclysm? Bigfoot's on Mars? They had nukes? <laughs> there are billions or whatever number of souls left the, the planet in shock and trauma through this cataclysmic event. And that the guardians who took my father... Remember, this is a dream. The guardians who took my father whisked the billions of souls of these Bigfoot creatures who were once advanced, fashioned them a primitive body to be sort of like a therapy for their souls so that they could be rehabilitated, brought them to earth, placed them here, allowed them to use their interdimensional whatever abilities. Well, why we can never catch them. This is all in a dream. Just that's important to know. And that they are slowly but surely being rehabilitated from the trauma of instant cataclysm so dad wakes up he's like oh my god that's a weird dream he goes and tells tyler d and tyler looks at him and he said how did how did you know that and dad said i had a dream and he said you are the most informed person i've ever met and that was it <laughs> i mean what <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say to that um, is this Tim Taylor guy really saying these things to these people? Like, does he really believe all this stuff? I mean, I'm so confused. It's fascinating. I'm not saying that can't be true. I'm just saying, I don't know. What does that mean? He's the most informed person. Like, how did you know that? How did you, how did you know about big advanced Bigfoots on Mars that died in a nuclear blast and then were re their souls were rehabilitated? How did you know that? Like, it just seems odd thing to say, right? It almost seems like Tim is playing with them, if that's a real story. But I don't know, right? That seems dubious and, like, yeah, suspect, right? Suspect, I don't know. Again, here they are hanging out together, right? Looks like the rich uncle came over. Hanging out, right? Like, um... And these two guys seem like good guys. I have nothing against them, right? Just telling stories. And this guy, I don't know. I don't know what to make. All I'm saying is, right, he was supposedly to potentially in this program, parallel space program, right, that have time, time travel technology. He's also taking uh, where they worked on anti-gravity, right, a secret space program potentially, a time travel technology, Um He's meeting with these guys, telling them they're the most informed people he ever met because they know about the, the nuclear cataclysm on Mars with the Bigfoot, advanced Bigfoot creatures um, who are interdimensional beings. Um, right, souls, bringing up souls. Um, he's going to the Vatican with Dana Pasolka. He's taking her and Gary Nolan to secret crash sites, right? He's doing experiments up in space. Um I don't know. There's just a lot with this Tim Taylor guy, man. We need an interview with this guy, right? That's what needs to happen. This, this, I would love to see an interview with this guy. But let's watch this clip of Diana talking about this secret UFO crash site visit as well. And here, you know, a little Patrick and Patrick for you all today. Not as meta as yesterday's Patrick and Patrick and Patrick. But eventually we'll get to Patrick and Patrick and Patrick and Patrick and Patrick. I don't know. I'll try to do some like infinite Patrick. That that doesn't sound good for anybody. Let's be real. All right, here we go, y'all. Folded. We get out to the site. We get out. Listen to what she said. Hang on. Air tag. We're blindfolded. We get out to the site. We get out. So real quick, they get blindfolded. Her and Gary Nolan, right? They get told we're going out to this this crash site. All right, here we go. We're wearing diff we were wearing like I guess I guess there's rattlesnakes out there and so we have to wear certain boots and you know things like that. So we get out, we take our blindfolds off. And the first thing I do is I look around because it looks really familiar to me, even though I've never been out there. And Tyler looked at me and he said, Looks familiar, doesn't it? And I said, you know, yeah. And he said, It's it's you've seen it in the X-Files. And I was like, what? He goes, they, they had an insider on their team. And I, I honestly thought, okay. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Patrick, you took the words out of my mouth. I'm sorry, what exactly? So, again, I'll put links to all of this. Go watch these videos. You know, see me break that that down. There's a lot that Tim Taylor has done and said and proclaimed. And I just don't know, right? It hasn't directly come from his mouth. So to be fair to Tim Taylor, right? These are other people telling his story. Now, it's out there in the internet and he's not like trying to correct it in any way. So I don't know. I don't know, but... It's used at X-Files, right? X-Files episode. I'm pretty sure I found the, the ep episode with the help of the vetters, right? They, they, in this video, in fact, I believe they, someone found it, right? It was a whole thread about it. So shout out to the vetters who did all that work. I didn't do that. Um, I watched that X-Files episode and um, it was in, the very first season, in my opinion, it was it's because some people are arguing over which one it was, but the, the very first season of uh, the very first episode of the very first season back, you know, when when they left and then they came back. Right. Uh, it's got Joel McHale in it. Um, anyway, it's like it's about alien reproduction vehicles and there's some crazy stuff in it, but it starts off with the UFO crash. Um, in New Mexico and they show it and they're at there and it makes me think like is that what they found was just pieces left over from the set because when you see the set and how it's laid out it's it's it looks like a real UFO crash there right and there's all these pieces laying around and maybe they didn't get it all I've I've been on movie sets before I've been an extra in in uh some movies you know I, I was an extra in Lady in the Water M. Night Shyamalan's movie I used to live on Philadelphia um, and stuff gets laid, laid, you know, dude, it's, it's crazy. The, the stuff that can be left behind after a movie. Um, I did a Bollywood film at the Philadelphia train station uh, for a few days. I was an extra in this Bollywood film. It's awesome. Um, shout out to my Indian um, fans out there. Yeah amazing experience but anyway like the way they take over but the way they leave some stuff just gets left behind and if you're out there in the desert right like filming on location all this dirt and rocks and all this stuff and there you, you see all the little pieces of the set right um there's even behind the scenes footage of that i'm not saying that's what it is i'm just saying you know why would they use it in an x-files episode like because they later state that they had an insider the x-files had an insider was it Tim Taylor? He told him, use this. And then, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just saying this Tim Taylor guy is like at the center of a lot of crazy stuff. And then when you watch the Jesse Michaels interview or and um, episode, you know, whole video of it being about anti-gravity, basically, that had been suppressed, right, from this guy named Townsend Brown and how his technology, parts of it are being used, Um but that, you know, it got suppressed and doesn't, you know, nobody wants to recognize him. So I don't know. Um, it's fascinating how it weaves it all together. And even the part about like Bob Lazar uh, that's in there, it's, it's quite fascinating. I'm probably going to make another video on that part of Jesse Michael's documentary. I'll call it right. I mean, that's a documentary. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, that's just not like a normal YouTube video. This is a normal YouTube video that I'm making, right? Like not what Jesse Michaels is doing. That's on another level, y'all. Um, but fascinating, right? How it all connects. And then he brings it back to Tim Taylor, right? At the end like that. Again, there's just... It's crazy. This stuff is crazy. Like... Could it be true? Yeah. I mean, there's no question that some of these stories you hear right off the bat, you're just like, what the? Like, why? Because of your reference you have every day. So I'm aware of that bias. Granted, it may be reasonable bias, right? But still, it's there. And... If you would ask me, you know, thousand years ago, if I lived like, oh, there's this whole microscopic world, 
you know, in your body and just, you know, whatever, right? Viruses, diseases, little, th- little, little bug, you know, bugs and whatever. Like, okay, get out of here, dude. What are you talking about? You know, blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, right? Like the way you, we can get like microscopic, right? I mean, just thought that's crazy because it's a whole nother world in that, right? Um, so I get it. it can seem outlandish. Um, so I don't know. I'm just fascinating to see it all put together. But I don't know about y'all, man, but I would... If, this video is basically just about Tim Taylor, man. Like, we need to get an interview with this guy. We need to find out more about this guy. I want to know more. I don't know about y'all. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank y'all better so much for watching. Remember, y'all, every day is a gift. Peace.